Hi, this is Sean back with you again. Um, looking at the Tusk Excursion set. I'm sorry. Tusk Excursion. Uh, the previous uh, video, I showed you the Tusk Traverse, which is smaller. And I think the Highland is the next size that's bigger than this. Um, as for the big adventure bikes, you know, my Tenere that I had, um, I consider the Highland, but I actually went with these excursions. And now that I've got the Honda, I think it's going to be a perfect set, perfect setup. And what I have here is the, the one liter small dry bag, um, duffel that they call it. And I also have the, let's see, that was the 10 liter. The other one is a 22 liter, which I will show that as well. The 22, naturally, no more than twice as big. So the 10 will fit inside the 22 and fit right here as well. But you get the gist of it. So uh, you see, I don't, you know, I've got extra line hanging down, extra, uh, I don't have it dialed in yet, but I'm very close. So, but it's, it's looking, it's looking good. I've sat on the bike, uh, went down the street with it, just kind of casually, no interference. Um, I'm concerned a little bit that it's a little high with the weight, but that's the reason I'm going to try to do more minimalistic rides. Um, I'd like to not have anything up here, but then again, I did say that I was going to use my tail bag over there. So that tail bag is probably, <laughs> probably even bigger than this 10 liter, um, duffel by Tusk. So I don't know. I just got to experiment with it. Again, looking for your guys input, looking for your feedback. Uh, say, Sean, listen, you're going down the wrong path or you're doing the right thing, you know, looking for that feedback. Oh, I also did uh, get the bottle holders here. I just got water bottles in there now. Um, again, got to depend. It's got, I'm watching all these videos trying to educate myself so I'm not a total buffoon when I get out there. But with this tank on the rally, and the fuel economy that I'm getting, you know, just say 70 miles an hour, just say 68, whatever, just say 70. That's 210 miles, okay? So do I need to take like a little liter to put in one side and just have, you know, water for the other side? Do I put a little bit of fuel in each? Well, I hate to carry fuel if I don't need it. It's just added weight. Same thing with water. Um, again, Unless I'm going to be so remote that I need to have enough water to survive um, for multiple days, you know, I think I, 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 I ramp up for that, you know, when those occasions arise. I think I ramp up for that. But for the everyday riding, you know, you're going to be so close to civilization. You're so close to everything else in America. Yes, I know there's remote places too. But, yeah, yeah, again... Those of you who have done adventures, uh, particularly those of you guys have done, I, I've seen several videos of guys done them on the 250s, you know, KTM 690s, you know, that type of thing, even Tenere's. And that was my original plan was to do it on the Tenere, but um, yeah, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this lighter if I drop it, because I most likely will be riding by myself unless somebody wants to join me uh, while I have friends that ride. None of them have the luxury of being able to take off the time that I do. So, yeah, I'll probably be doing the ride by myself. But I'd be welcoming anybody to join. And let me get your opinions on this. Headset communication. You know, do I need to get one just in case I do hook up with somebody? Do I need to get one so I can listen to my phone if my phone's ringing? Do I need to get one so I can listen to my Garmin? Um... Or do I need to not even mess with it? So give me your thoughts on headset communication. You know, do I buy the cheapy on Amazon or do I get the Cardo, whatever pack, expensive ass thing that uh, is the top of the line. That way I only do it once. Again, I have a problem sometimes with being frugal. Uh, but again, other times I'm willing to spend the money that, you know, do what I need to do. Uh, for example, my helmet. I wear a 6D helmet, right? Expensive, safe. Uh, my boots, Garnet boots. But yet, I wear a cheap-ass Hawk jacket, J-H-W-K, the ones that you can see on Amazon all the time. Um, yeah, so go figure. I I'm a mess.
But I'm going to share my mess with you guys and feel free to support it or critique it. Thanks, fellas. Oh, ladies, too, because you got to think about itchy boots. Right? <coughs> my dog wants to be fed. Okay, let me give you an update on the excursion setup. Uh, this is actually packed pretty legit. I've got the sleeping bag. I've got the tent poles. I've got the sleep pad all in here. I've got a uh, aluminum water bottle here. This is pretty much the tent with plenty of extra room. This is only the 10 liter, not the uh, 22 liter. So this is the, actually the extra small one. Then I still have room in here. And over here is just basically my clothes and the, you know, I've got two pairs of socks, two pairs of underwear, a pair of long pants that are zip off or shorts, two pairs of shirts, um, toiletries, and I think I may have one or two little things from uh, the camping in here, but uh, that's got some extra room as well. So. Like I said, if I, if I do camp, I really don't plan to cook. So I'm not taking cook stuff, anything like that. Like I said, I'm going to eat at mom and pops. You know, if, if I'm out touring the country, you know, I'm going to pull off the trail, go to see Bob and Judy's, you know, pork and ribs, whatever, uh, and, and go eat there and, and, and talk to the local people and uh, kind of figure out what I've missed you know, in my life, uh, by seeing how some other people live. 